Question 25. Which statement is correct? A. Adding sodium oxide to water give a lower pH solution than adding silicon oxide to water. First, uh, the SiO2 is insoluble in water. And the sodium oxide is a base. It will dissolve in water to give a, or to form alkaline solution, which is going to have a high pH. So therefore, the first statement is wrong. B. The oxidation state of sodium in its correct is higher than oxidation state of silicon in its correct. Uh, NaCl, the sodium is uh, oxidation state is just positive one. For the uh, silicon tetrachloride, so uh, the silicon oxidation state is positive four, which is larger than the sodium. So this statement is wrong. C, the atomic radius of sodium is larger than silicon. This is correct. Because we know that when across a period, the proton number increases and the shielding is almost constant. So therefore, the attraction of the nucleus towards the valence electron is stronger. So the size of these uh, atoms is, uh, is uh, smaller. So C is the answer. And why D is wrong? Uh, the melting point of the chloride of sodium is lower than the melting point of chloride of silicon. Uh, first, you need to understand the structure. The sodium chloride is uh, bonding is uh, ionic bonding. The structure is giant ionic, so it's going to have a high melting point. For the SiCl4, so this one is just a simple molecule, and they are the uh, ID ID forces or the Van der Waals forces between the uh, molecules. Therefore, the SiCl4 is, uh, ha is have the lower melting point compared to this uh, uh, NaCl. So therefore, this statement is wrong. Okay, answer confirmed is C. That's all. Thank you.